I'm in! Ladies and gentlemen, let's um, uh, do some setting first. Prepare for battle. Uh, okay. Do some quick intro play who in this game from Nessie and the Radiant Side, Pilot Down, Crystal Maiden, JT and Phantom Lancer, Moon and Sand King, Baby and Elder Titan, and KP on Enigma or Team uh, the WG Unity on the Dire Side. Very Chow Bow and Slaughter, Mercury on the Terror Blade, Nothing on Outworld Devour, Velo on Centaur Run, and the uh, Kang on Bane. Thirty seconds to battle. Quite aggressive. Bow bar. Bow bar calls in for the pile I die. Did a contest. Oh, seems to be three by rune. Okay. Yeah, three by rune for Team WG Unity. That's sneaky. Go in the middle lane. It's nothing to say with the Outworld Devourer against Moon once again. A Sand King mid. What a game we have here. We, we have Slada in the game. We have Sand King mid. Interesting, I'm super hyped up with that. Then King mid by Moon. Fighting on the top lane uh, is Felix Chalpa. The Enigma. Uh, we gotta keep an eye on every lane uh, because the every lane has potential to kill. Slada, the twin crash already comes out. I'm fighting with Febby, but he took a lot of damage uh, from Febby. Don't underestimate the power of that guy, the boxer. DT stays in front. Throwing some spirit lands on the tank. Double Gankers comes out. What a surprise that JT went for the Spirit Land first before the... Oh no, Slytherin Crutcher. Can be dropping quite low. Uh, I was saying that I kind of surprised that he went for... The Spirit Land and the Double Ganker instead of the uh, Phantom Rush. Well, oh, sorry, but he missed the target. But at the same time, also taking some last hit of the creeps. Feppy. Reflections already. With a badge comes up on the slot of Felix Chalpa. Try to zone it out. Citrine Crutcher, he's running out of mana already. He's just gonna take a look at some other lanes. I don't think he will go in for another strike. But I hear the mango eating down. A badge comes out from Felix Chalpa. Feppy chase on him. Ooh. Oh, right hook, right hook, come on, man. Oh, my. That was close. Told ya. Need to be careful. Meanwhile, Moon doing good, sorting out the outworld devour with his sandstorm. Denied. Something is in here. Yes, uh, he's right. he just gonna zone out and he's gonna kill the sentry ward. Lada falls back. Back to the bottom lane, it's kinda messed up around here. Kang, quite low. Thanks. 
Say. I say no. Say bye. I say I don't know. You say goodbye. I say hello. Felix Chaba finally go back to the scene. Uh, after. Yeah. Nothing to say is right here. Man, and it actually happens at the bottom lane that it's below finish off that pile I die. I think I was so careful with it, but the fight, you gotta understand, the fight it ha actually happened everywhere, but I'm not gonna miss in this fight. Uh, Felix Chaopa, Citrine Crush about to be ready. A bash already comes out first. Chaopa with Citrine Crush, and that's a kill for Team WG. That bash, though. Boomstorm comes out. Uh, maybe a double edge would be great. And Mineski falls down. Mineski. BG doing not bad uh, in this game with a great start. Uh, three kills so far. What a fight. A little bit of stun. He's just gonna get right hooked down uh, by that Febby. Nice play on the... Um, Good setup by KP and then Febby just goes straight in. Chaopa. Time for the bar rune. Five and a half minutes. Nothing to stay still doing pretty okay. Uh, quite close in the middle lane. Sand King. Very impressive run by Moon. Playing Sand King against Outworld Devourer and has more large hit. Phantom Rush inside. Highlight die positioning need to be better. He got caught one time already. Sand King at the same time that Creep push into another side. He's just gonna turn on the Sandstorm and farming around here. He actually stacked it himself. Or I am not sure who stacked it. Astro imprisonment. Uh -oh. Boom. Spamming the Astro imprisonment in order to interrupt the um Last hit tempo of the Sand King. The bomb lane, you see Kang. Go straight for the Phantom Lancer. Double ganker, sorry, comes out for Kang. Frost bite. Dropping quite low for Kang. Still has a double edge. Uh, he just turned on the magic stick. Uh, getting some HP back. Below. In risky situation. We need some tango. Astro imprisonment. You see these guys always stealing stacks uh, of the uh, terror blade. Uh, gotta give the credit to Peppy that he doing so good to harassing the farm on the TB. Not even he, he he's about to solo kill the TB. Don't tell me that's gonna happen. It is Peppy. Oh man. Felix Chaupa! Poopstorm, he's trying to dodge that! Baby gonna be chased uh, by the Chaupa! Nice strike back by Chaupa! We're out of your depth. Lada got one kill. He got up the rune with a dub damage. Time to go in for more birds, strike, right? Pick up another Invis rune and just strike on that tank. Pang, back to the shrine, maybe back to the fountain. From lane below doesn't look good as well. Being chased down by JT and also Palai Dai. Street lands and maybe a frostbite in order to stop. Doesn't have mana for the frostbite. Lucky guy.
Back to the top lane. Chalma. Black hole for the first time to use lane. Strike on a slaughter. Debbie actually got three kills and died two times. All he do is just... Hitting everyone with his Tokyo Dome. Look at that. Dyer's top tower is under attack. To so fight the bottom lane below. Gonna go inside double ganger so he comes out causing some confusion uh, using the stampede. Uh, even Slada joining the T5 Felix Chapa is right here ready to some the uh, switch between crash and just a bad this would be enough to kill him. JT still being paid Chapa. We're trying to boot. Are you ready for another Citrine crutch? JT! Badge! Poop stop maybe! Somebody teleport down. It's gonna be Femby the Boxer. Gotta get a hell out of here. Rocky Ball Boy is right here. Run! Let me take down the tile first. Bottle oh, strike! Aiming for the Bane, uh, here comes the Hoopstorm, very good setup. Uh, Kang's not gonna make it, he will die in a sandstorm. Uh, Felix Chalpa uh, that stays inside the tree line, he comes out, he's retreating crash, he will slow down. Uh, but the Crystal Nova, that's a good fight. Meanwhile, space created for nothing to say on top. He got a hand of minus three new talisman and also the boots of speed. Real about caught. Not gonna make it. Quite tanky. Auto retaliate. <laughs> it's quite hard to take him down, really. Still not that hard to kill Mineski just now. A lot of damage. Just need to wait for him. I think he need to farm some. He need a blink dagger to to operate properly. But uh, the good thing, the good news for Team WT is their hard carry. I'm sorry, the uh, mid laner get farmed a lot, and he's on the way to the Kaya. Don't want to fight with a very fat outward devourer because just one uh, Saturday eclipse could kill the whole team. That's a very powerful spell. Maybe Fiend Grip? Burl Strike first. And stuck in the Fiend Grip. Can they attack by that unity? Nothing to say. Stampede also comes out. Sandstorm's in. Into the Sandstorm. Nothing to say. Dropping some Sandy Eclipse might be a double kill. Moon in a range. Nothing to say. Trying to chase on in just one hit away. Moon running out mana and also, but he still has a base board. Running through the three line. Moon, look at that damn. Duke, uh, Astro Imprisonment, uh, KP moving in. Uh, it seems like nothing to say, we don't want to hang around. Uh, almost a double kill. But he got two kills eventually, anyway. Take a look at the graph a bit. It's the beauty unity. Both golden and and the yeah, network. I'm sorry, the golden experience earn are on the beauty unity side. Vanguard already for Centauran. On the way to the blink dagger. He's a primary blink initiator, so you need to get blink case up. Wow, this is a secondary. Initiator Slada. It's been a while since we see a spells like um cursive haste. <laughs> Gotta miss it. Slada. Running away for the Sand King. Sand King burst right away. Nightmare kinda of stuck there, Corsip Tate. Are you ready for the first big team fight? Oop Storm. Stops the outworld devourer. Back to the top lane, KP looking to catch this Mercury. 
Terrorblade. Kind of slow farming, to be honest. Goes inside that. Oh, a save for the Hoofstorm. JT is still hanging around. I see the death of that Velo. Velo stamping himself inside just to die in front of the tower. Yeah, but that might be the plan of Velo. He some space created for his teammates in the middle. Child Bar CT crash on three. Both strikes away on the tree line. He gets frostbite down. Child Bar. Here we go. He's going down. Who's on two? That's going to be the black hole. What a combo by Team Inesky. They're going to crash them all. That triple kill by that moon. With a burst strike and a bomb. Phantom Rush in. Not a setup by Burst Strike. Almost an ultra kill by that moon. Sand King mid. Level 11. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Mm, Die off with a hoof storm and then follow up with the black hole burst strike. And a caustic finale. And it's just gonna catch the slaughter one more time. Still level 6. Not strong enough to running away from KP level 10 and JT level 10. This will come in handy. Digging up the Barry Rune, it's all Barry Rune for Team Mineski. This is getting worse for Team WG. First hand kill also goes to Team Mineski. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Oh, why did he kill? That kind of fast. Our Febby down. <laughs> Just like that. I didn't even see that. Sorry. Back to the bomb lane. The B low. Behind him is Sand King low. Troll. Bracer. Facebook and also the blink dagger. More like a physical sand king. Dumped away. Inside the tree line. The beauty is kinda mad at that sand king, they're just gonna hunt him down no matter where he goes. Well strike in create them sandstorm. Dumped away and teleport. Astro imprisonment on Stampede has been used as well. What an uncomfortable game for Team WG. I feel them. It's just, it's just like lag by a bit. Always lag by a bit. Jumping in, hoop storm, if he center on the high ground, burst right down. That was a bait, a highlight die. Now he got the high ground, he might go down. Felix Sharpa. Moon creating a sandstorm. That can becoming a really good hero now. That like he can moving in his sandstorm instead of just like standing still. It's really stupid back then. So easy to what? What you gotta do? You sandstorm? <laughs> just spam the AOE spells inside <laughs> and then becoming a Kausan Road Scorpion roasted. Yeah. Now I kind of like to see the change, the rework of the sandstorm. Make him back to the thing. What's Lada? Dyer's top tower is under attack. Nothing. Okay. Sun and slow. Fight, catching, hoop storm, pilot die, gone. That's fast. But Mineski didn't even care about, about to do something bigger. 
getting the first edges in the game. But it seems like the beauty not gonna let that happen easily. Jumping in with the hoops, so I'm trying to contest that. Dropping quite lows already. Bow of strike on top. Nice assist. Felix Chow Bart bought back right away. Have to join this team fight. Doesn't have a bling dagger. Just have to spend gold for the buyback. Oh, that's painful to watch. I know how hard he won that um, blink dagger. Kang is behind. Get it. Baby. Good zoning tactic by Mineski. They just stole him out and get an easy Aegis. Got hit. Then he got hit. But strike right, that nice header by Moon. Now, perfect timing. Fabi is follow up with the head cold storm but didn't hit anyone. Almost hit that Slada though. But I don't think Slada is gonna make it. Uh, he's, he's so low now. But he walking away with around 50 HP. Mineski didn't even care about. He's gonna go straight and take that mid tier to do some objective. And finish the series. Dyer's middle tower Got it. has fallen. Power. Borrow strike in on that main. Bone is everywhere. We got like five assists so far, and now he has like got 2.5k gold. Ready to go for the next item. Might be something to improve his mobility. Or just go straight to uh, an agony scepter. But I don't think it's gonna be an agony scepter. Be new scepter. For a better setup and more annoying. Outworld Devour. From Lane Velo. <laughs> he stuck with his item for a while, Velo. Well, he still have like uh, almost 2k. Oh, look at that how fast he can approach. Uh, jumping burrow strike, easy kill. For the move. Dropping center, Eclipse almost kill. Actually kill that KP. Double kills it. This might be the comeback of Team WG. It got three kills. Uh, the bad positioning by Team Minetti and a little bit getting cocky by them. They strike first by that moon with burrow strike. It's beautiful. But it's just not killed enough to finish the whole team of Team WG. And yeah, not thing to say is getting bigger and bigger. Don't forget that Team WG also got a tarot light that we just finished the mental style. Feels like Minesi is playing against a time bomb. Top tower is under attack. The one Radiant's to finish the game before before 40 minutes. After that, Gary to deal with the uh Dyer are scanning. Arab light. Dyer's structures are They're down. It's gonna be pile I died. Great using the freezing field. Oh no, pile I die. Not gonna make it uh, in front of the outworld devourer. So Dyer's squishy. Bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. They're about to take that tower right here. They port down for Team WG. But catch a JT, just put the port back. Right. 
try to catch. It's worth it because he already finished this one. Place a very deep ops of wards right here. They are ready to fight on top from now. And I think they're just gonna after guy come back, they're gonna do a smoke, go fight top. But maybe not so soon because Phantom Lancer is still carrying an Aegis. Below on the way to an American Inceptor. Smoke. Here come the smoke. Jumping in, Citrine Cross placing some sentry. That's all that moon uh, aiming for the moon. Uh, Citrine Cross, maybe a bat would be great. And uh, that's gonna be the kill. Six kills, three and them, but nothing to say. Black hole in order to counter that. Uh, turn on the Black King bar, dropping safety, clipped when. Uh, finally, here comes. Uh, and it's four down. Uh, almost a team wipe. Uh, Phantom Lancer is the only one who's still alive uh, because he's coming late. Felix Chauba. Dropping quite low for Tower Bar. They all go in for the PL. Quite strong. Double gankers away. Acting like a illusions. Fast reaction time. You can see the JT. Um, it's like natural react that when when he's trying to use the double ganker away and create illusions. He used Illusion to go out and act like a real one, while the real one is still stays in a group of Illusion. That's a very high technique. Inesi not doing good for now. The uh, arrival of the Outworld Devourer in late game is just shaking that game. Also, Arrowblade got a Black King bar, but his level is still kind of low. It is reclaimed, so I think the beauty is ready to go for the next one. Need the cooldown of the Sanity Clip. Can't fight, you can't win a team fight without Sanity Clip. But they want to go in. They know that Minesi doesn't have a black hole, so they just want to give it a shot. Maybe it's Febby? An amazing what thing, an amazing thing. Hi. Uh, Y'all cool? Scanning. I think so. Double Smoke. Catching the PL, that's the key hero. PL is day. Five kill streak and 1919 WG. I can proudly say that the game momentum is already changed into Team WG Unity now. Desky, not looking good anymore. All the way to the Kiva's guard for the WG Unity. Hey, now the mid tier 2 tower. Radiance middle tower has fallen. 
Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Ban King. Okay, go in his pocket. He went for a Radiance first. Uh, I really like that item choice. I predict that he will go for you Scepter. But yeah, he went for a Radiance. That's the faster way to get the U Scepter. I haven't seen the Sand King with a Radiance for a long time, man. Last time I see, I see it in the pub game. Yep. One. In the... Radiant are scanning. All right. The maiden. As you can see, push very fast. I think his level is a bit low compared to the outworld devourer is like four level different he was scout is on the way and he's just gonna get the hex after that guys this is going to be a very big team fight very crucial one Felix Chaupa Chaupa the Slada goes in uh, and who's done that it's aimed for the eight mains uh, damage first the JT falls down no buyback to a Spitter comes out and turn on the Black King bar Feppy Balboa even the Balboa he needs to just run away because he lost the Phantom Lancer the race of team Minesi just got away safely that was close um sharp crucial moment uh, decision making by team Minesi that they decided to fall back right away instead of just like go in I believe that if there is one guy go in Minesi will die for the whole team nice aim by team the beauty unity they aiming for the phantom lancer first all the time nothing to say Astro is been waiting for support uh, Felix Alpha can easily jump in with the they train crash crash comes out that burst right gone too not doing good for Slada. He was burned down by the Radiance. However, on the bottom lane, that Terra Blade to send in the Illusion take damage on, on that tower. I like that. Coin of the realm. All right, Dane. Hello, test. game gonna be long man versus I thought it's gonna be easy game for Mineski not anymore Phantom Lancer died three times in a row and now he was forced to do a blacking by instead of going something uh, usual like a um, part of Tarask JT. Not sure what he's gonna go first. He might go for a hard trap first. There were 23. It's taking a little talent. He went for plus 20 strength. Armor. Bar should be 15% spell still. But it might be plus 60 S arcane orb in dire structures are fortified.
I don't think it's gonna be 15% spell life to be classic yeah hard hit more. But we'll see. Danking on top, Moon. His impact on the game is getting less and less as the time goes by. Dyer are scanning. Getting weaker. <coughs> Phantom Lancer. Radiant are scanning. Trying to catch that nothing to say. Let's take a look at the uh, invade invasions of Minesi. The first strike already stampede that Minesi actually successful to lure that stampede out though. Black hole, it was stopped out, it was so quick. Uh, KP incinerated in front of the No, it's Mercury finish him off with the terror blade and now there's a strike on that JT. J3! JT was stopped oh almost died because of the uh, 3 train crash. Nice too. The BLG Unity in a very good shape in the game at the moment. Radiance top tower is under attack. And it's gonna be ages and a cheese for team the BLG Unity. We are getting closer and closer to the third game of the series. 9k ahead for team the BLG. Not sure how Mineski gonna come back on this one. Their heroes are reaching the limit. If Phantom Lancer cannot stay alive in team fight, then, then how are you gonna fight with this? Phantom Lancer is supposed to be the, the fattest one in the game. If the beauty cannot take this game, it's gonna be one of the biggest tilt in, in the playoff round. They are in very good shape. Just don't be shaken. Fortune. This will come in handy. Dragon Inceptor. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Protected by stamping take reduced damage and are able to run through obstruction. Being great. Such a strong engaging skills. Guys, <laughs> only 90 seconds. Running out of stampede already. On top, they are marching forward for Team Mineski, and the game is paused. All right. Guys, I'm gonna show you guys some item update, so not wasting up your guys' time. <laughs> I don't think they can rely on the Sand King Birthright or a Black Hole from Enigma anymore. They need to find a new way to come in the team fight. But like the ability is much Radiant much stronger in attack. engaging the fight because of the um, Stampede. Give them such an easy way to go in. Stampede and then everyone... That's all. 
straight to the Phantom Lancer without any obstacle because um, it's already Stampede and Agony Factor. The question is how the Phantom Lancer is just gonna stay alive when everyone goes straight at him because once he dies, it's all over. Uh, Minesi only have Phantom Lancer, that's all. The race are just This is such a test for the young boy. He's only 20 years old for JT. Uh, lived in Kuala Lumpur. And he's a replacement of the legendary Moose. So, of course, a lot of pressure on him. Now, this is the test of the boy. If you can't survive this game, yeah, you got a bright future ahead. Because this is just the build unity. If tomorrow you have to face team, teams like Clutch Gamers or or RR Kill, and that different story. But who knows? They might not survive today. As team the build G almost found them. Still trying to catch. Meanwhile, Mineski is playing with that experience. They know that game, that game are behind. So Paladai calling out to his teammate. Hey man, go straight push. Um, try to control the creep wave. This is how they do when the game are behind. If the creep wave will control and always push your enemy base, you will have some space to breathe and some time to farm for your hard carry. Especially this Phantom Lancer. Uh, this Cat Fate Sky need a lot of time to farm. And now Moon's about to get caught. See how fast he goes out, man. The damage is ridiculous coming out from that Mercury. And his next item gonna be Daedalus. Nothing goes wrong, we surely see the, the third game. Highlight Die gonna be the next one who goes down, I think. Being chased out by the Centaur run. Aegis and a Black King bar is ready. Thundered. Aegis reclaimed. A little good news for Minesi to defend the high ground. But the tower is only around 300 HP. Here comes the Crimson Guard, the tower will gone real quick, that Minesti, what are they gonna do? Hoops them to buy some time first, Feppy still have a splitter. No Sand King for 20 seconds, they might have to give away the Barrax. There's nothing they could do against the AK-47 Terror Blade over there. First set of Rax down. Radiance bottom shrine is under attack. Well, if Mineski actually loses this game, it's Radiance not because they're taking out the strat. Stolen. They they pick the heroes that they are confident to sweep this series two zero because they need to be sure that they will go to the Romania. They wanted to go there so much. Now let's take a look team fight first. Ciao pa. Jumping in, blink away for Chao Ba, Crimson Scars already comes out, uh, Mercury, no metamorph forces, the problem of the Black King Bar for that moon, but he has to retreat here, Black Hole, a complete, uh, nothing to say, he has to force up himself away, he gets to the high ground, let's go back to look around here, it's Mercury, fighting near the try, not even going for the try yet, to slash him down without metamorph forces, Earth Splitter comes out to slow down a power play, but he can't find a real one, uh, this is the battle of Illusion's army, if all Thunder comes out, Faces cannot fight the strength of the Phantom Lancer in late game. He will survive just a little bit. He Thunder, his teammate. He get all his HP back. What a save, what a play by the Team Unity. Nightmare first, cannot attack him. One HP left, and then he Thunder the guy who just walked back and jumping in. Perfect combination. The BG show us some Malaysian connection. Oh my. Wow.
Yeah. Actually pop the cheese, I think. Now let's see. Let's go for round two. With the main more forces, I believe. It's gonna be even worse. Team Mineski. Gotta buy back. Uh, goes in on the front line. Uh, nothing to say. Turn the Black King bar. Saw them all out. Uh, and the Rage is gonna attack on the tower. Barrax gone. Burst strike on two. Stop them. Hook some. As from Prison Men. Uh, defense. Black hole on two. Almost kill one. And yes, they got him. Makiri gone. Mineski still alive though. As from Prison Men. Uh, the rest of Team the Beauty has to retreat. Uh, including the slot of Felix Alba and Velo. Kang two. Now what they left in the middle is nothing to say. He killed one before he goes out. Unstoppable. Two core Team the Beauty falls down. But still have a buyback. We are in the heat of the game. Still trying to fight for the Phantom Lancer. Not giving up just yet. Trying to go for the uh, Mighty King bar. No. Instead of. Oh, you already got the Mighty King bar. And now his next item is going to be a Heart of Grass. Get a heart, replace it with this. Orbit mask. It's all about experience now. Talking about experience, of course, Team the Beauty have less experience, while Team uh, Mineski have players like KP was with Newbie. Of course, the TI experience is very important. Mineski has Highlight Eye. Mineski has Moon and Feppy. These are world-class players. It's the test of the Young Turks of Malaysian Dota scene. The BG can they finish this game against one of the re legendary team. I die. Let's take a look at the map vision. I die placing um, observer wards here definitely because of this one. You want to control the Roshan pit to get the hand zone. Dyer's bottom tower is under it will attack. respawn in 10 seconds. KB and the boot of travel for Minesi Moons can just go there with the um, the teleport scroll come back with the boots of travel soon refresher for the central round oh he went for 15% spell life deal Radiant are scanning. Now they let that JT stays in the front line. He's still 1.9k HP only. He doesn't have he doesn't have a hard task. I'm gonna leave you guys with the buyback status here. This is a vision of team uh, WG. You can see they can't see the Minesi at all. Yes, you cannot see Team the Beauty too. It's 
are building up fates. Mineski about to get it. The BG looking at it. I don't think they will go in. The BG. The BG. That was close. If they want to go in, they have to start it now. Jumping in this victory and crash upon the Black King Bar for that moon. Turn on the Stay and Storm. They just want to sort everyone out. But Mercury is still inside. Black Hole on one, but that was a core. Hero, but can they kill Mercury? Oh, here. He goes down without using any thunder. And with pressure, Black Hole killing everyone. KP, young boy from Australia, strikes again. What is actually going on over there? 6.3k damage done for KP with two black hole refresher. Perfect positioning for KP, but still have a buyback for Team WT, so I don't think the game will just end here. What a crazy game we have. 26 to 28 game score. Start attacking on the tower. Terra Blade, uh, Zenith Illusion, and trying to stop them. Uh, Mercury, Citrine Crush, a burst right, dodge it. Uh, bought back right away for Centaur Run. Uh, still no sign of Outworld Devourer. It's defending high ground uh, like a champion. Not gonna give it away too easily. Sand King. KP, look at that, he's getting close, he's level 25. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Even Febby turned on the Black King bar. He also turned himself into Dyer's a physical damage dealer for the Febby. Are they pushing out? They know that. They know that KP doesn't have any black hole left. So it was an easy kill and they just gotta catch one more. Stampede two times. Double kill for Mercury. Pushing out. Uh, have to fight without that Febby for 100 seconds. Um, cut a doubt if they can do anything with that for Team WT. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Bang. Radiance top shrine is under attack. Oh, just being up trying to go in top lane. Flashing up shrine first. Just Get that moon. Radiance top shrine is under attack. Radiance top oh shrine has fallen. Haste. <laughs> Regeneration. Oh, what a crazy game we have here. Yeah, since right from the start that we see some weird heroes like Sand King Mid. We see Slada in 2019. See like uh, Crystal Maiden. Yeah, just like what we thought, <laughs> you all got what you need uh, in po probably in the last game of the day, but who knows, there might be game number three. Alright, anyone want to see game number three, type one? Anyone who wants uh, the series end here with 2-0, type scanning. two. Nasty. Being out to the east side uh, with a lot of smoke. Moon. Turn off his radiant. Sand King mid. Nine kills. Four dead. Twelve assist. Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. 
keep an eye on this team fight. Let's see who is going to engage first. It might be Moon blinking in, who knows. No buyback for Terrorblade and, and I think Minesi knows about that. If they can kill Terrorblade on this one, they can just sweep them 2-0 and end the series right here. Oh, it is reclaimed. Do you hear that sound? It's gonna be Aegis for Team um, Minetsky, Phantom Lancer with no Aegis right before the team fight starts. That might be the, the, the key of this team fight. No more second life. Trying to push the creep wave thing in every lanes, mid and bottom. The beauty stays inside. Minesi still failed uh, to find some visions inside, so they can't not just you know anyhow goes in with gliding close right like that. Pushing out the bottom and mid lane, ladies and gentlemen. Moon to the top, pushing on top. He's moving out right away. Gather with his teammate at the bottom. Bottom three. Stampede's already. How are they gonna do? They're just gonna catch Moon first. Uh. They kill Moon on you, Scepter. And he jumped away right after he died. Uh, meanwhile, the bottom lane diving in for two. And here we go, the black hole killing off the Velo. The core down. Uh, it's a trade. Uh, but the thing is, uh, Centaur Ran doesn't have a buyback for two minutes. The beauty stays strong and trying to defend. I am not sure if Minesi knows about the cooldown about that Centaur Ran or not. If they know. Sand King just need to buy back and trying to invest everything in this team fight and just go for one push end. Oh wow. Going into hiding. Sand Lancer. This is a test of strength, mental strength, and also physical strength, especially for Team WT Unity, because this is not their first series. They have played such a hard series against Team um, SD4K. It's more like the fifth game of the day. I am sure that in the late game like this, the mental strength is very, very important. But another Black King bar, Enigma still got a black hole though. You need to be careful, but it seems like Felix Chalpa, he knows that Enigma is not gonna black hole on him. If he do, then the rest of the team is just gonna crush him. Here comes the Chief of Scott, uh, coming back once again for KP. Oh, that he made the missile, actually it connected in all three guys black hole, uh, but nothing to say on the high ground, so he won that team fight. Uh, toe to toe fighting between Mercury, Mercury, Terra Blade, uh, or Phantom Lancer, but it's a double team, Sand King involved, uh, it's a double kill for JT. No buyback for Slada. Dying for two minutes for Terra Blade, but he's still got a buyback though. What a my game by the Slada. He knows that. He knows that KP is not going to black hole on him alone. But we gotta put. I I I think the beauty made a mistake. Slada did good because 
he trying to tell his teammate that, hey man, stay away from me. If they do the black hole, I will, I will just be the one to stay inside. Uh, but the thing is, his teammates just calculate the time of the black hole wrong. So they went in before the black hole gone. Uh, that's why they all stuck in then. That's why we are here at the barracks at the bottom lane. JT swipe on the racks real quick. Uh, double ganker every six seconds cooldown. Uh, nothing to say. Nothing much he could do at the moment. Uh, they're going to deal with a lot of illusions. Uh, uh, the Black King bot and man to man fight uh, about to come out, uh, nothing to say. Still hanging around, but they just can't stop uh, that Phantom Lancer from taking down the Barracks. Here comes the Hoopstorm, Double X, everything uh, strikes on him. But Echo Storm still keep him alive though. He popped the cheese, he got the full XP and goes straight for the outfall of the Barra. Dropping quite low for the did, and it's a double kill on two. Barra strike everything. Everyone that can buy back still have to buy back and they go got the second chance in this one No buyback, but they lost the barracks already. That's the first set of racks So we still have more fight to come ladies and gentlemen. We still don't know who can come out of this one alive Oh God, what a game Always happened to me When I, when I was like ah, last game of the day it's gonna be chill Gonna be off early. Then the crazy game happen. <laughs> Every time. Radiant are scanning. Now, got to keep in mind that that is the buyback stage. I say go for more. Roshan Penta striking on the Phantom Lancer. Still got a black hole though. They need to be careful. KP is right here in a perfect position. They just trying to zone everyone out of Team WT. If you wanna go in, if you wanna contest, you gotta deal with a big black hole. Turn on a sandstorm. Reflection. They might just have to give it away, man, really. It's it's kinda sad to watch, but it's reality. Now they lost the bottom rack too. If you want to do something, they just have to go in now. Half HP for the ages. Refresher chart. Uh, it's very important to get all these refresher charts. They're just trying to find a way to strike uh, from the high ground. Uh, they go around. Uh, Hoopstorm's already catching the support first. Uh, Pirate died. Uh, Stay behind. Uh, but still being fouled though. Stampede's going down to the low ground. Uh, goes in for the Phantom Lancer. Aiming for the Velo first. Uh, he's just going to be fine. The Crimson Guard. Nobody attacked that Aegis anymore. Turn on the Black King Bar. Everyone that has. Sand King also has the Black King Bar. Successful fight for Team WG, managed to lure all the Black King Bar out and also the uh, ultimate. Uh, maybe it's time for Team WG who goes into the Roshan Pit instead. Uh, but look at that, somebody got caught right in front of the base and it's Bane down. Bane had to buy back to defense the base. And this might be something that triggered Team Minesi to go into the Roshan Pit and try to take down again. Roshan's up in quite low, half HP ball striking, catching a centaur run, walking away for nothing to say. Oh, where is it? It's Mercury finally back into the middle of the fight. But I, it feels like he don't want to stand in toe to toe fighting with the Phantom Lancer, he just don't want to make any risk. Because he doesn't have a buyback left, that's why. This is such a hard situation, sir. And meanwhile, Moon strikes again on the top. Uh, Benny Chalpa forces up himself on the high ground. It feels like the beauty right now is this place. Uh, they cut this 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 band out. They have to stay together. Meanwhile, the team in S is just penetrating, and that's the dieback. Uh, no more bane for at least two minutes. It's going to be Mineski who go back into the Rochan pit and get rid of this. Get Aegis and the cheese also refresh the shot. It will be hard. It will be hard for Team WT. Fight without Enfeeble. When Enfeeble is so good in this 7.20 patch, turn on the Black King bar. That's very nice to do by Pylai died. 
giving an assist to his teammate to do a burst point and maybe an epicenter to Felix Chao Ma gonna go down, die without a buyback Felix Chao Ma, one and a half minutes uh, but still Mercury still shooting everyone uh, like a goddamn vegetable oh, burst right inside with the epicenter Thunder, dropping quite low for the moon but everyone just goes straight for that Mercury dropping said the Eclipse killed that Femi but still not be able to kill the core it's gonna come back for HP full mana because he got an Aegis, I think. Uh, for the Black King Bar goes away for nothing to save. Can they kill the Phantom Lancer? He still has a buyback anyway, even though he died. So I don't know why am I high about, but JT, JT, the boy from Kuala Lumpur, just killed nothing to save. And now he's man by Mercury, who gonna die first? Teleblade of Phantom Lancer. The war, the classic war between the best hero and its Teleblade 1. And this time, the game still go on. My god, 62 minutes in already. 10k damage done in just one fight for the Terror Blade. With 35 and 39 game score, more than an hour of a game. It's not done yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's the graph. Well, um, I think even though if the beauty Radiance win this one, I don't think they have energy left to play on game three. <laughs> Man, imagine they have played like five games today. It's all hard games. Look at this game. Bottom are no buyback. The beauty might get this rack, to be honest. Crazy game we have. Oh my dear. And two racks down. The beauty coming back from behind. That graph. It's like my girlfriend moved when she's on period. If I ever have one. And the Titan on the Daedalus on the way to the Blade Dagger for a proper Wolf Storm, I think, uh, Echo Storm, I think. Felix Chalpa. No buyback. Oh, seems like got three buyback from the Radiant side. The huge advantage for Team Minesi if some fight actually happens. Especially for the Phantom Lancer, he still has a buyback. He didn't even have a hard rask. <laughs> this is the first time that you see a Phantom Lancer play in a super late game without a hard rask. In Feeble, the right one, I think. Bane got hexed. Bane no buyback too. This will come in handy. Sand King with Octarine Core with the hex and also the radiance and boost of travel. Blink Dacker. Moon. Sixty-five minutes in this fight might be the one to decide, uh, but most of them got a buy black already. Now they go in, uh, aiming for that moon. Uh, he was unable to do any single balls, right? He died first. He bought back right away. Oh, black hole! But that was a very short, short hole. Goes in for the family, running all mana, getting right clicked uh, by the beauty unity. Straight to the Phantom Lancer. Felix Chalpa for the run away, fought back for the Phantom Lancer, he spent all that, if he die back, it will be over right here, Murph, like in, Moon, and it's Mercury Falls, still have a buyback for the uh, Terror Blade, and he bought back right away to join the team fight.
Next one goes down, Fennec Chow bought and do the best he could by using the three three crusher trying to save but nothing to say. Nothing to say, still got a buyback. Chow bot running away into the reset room, but he died because of bomb. Oh, the classic finale bomb. Swipe always. And to the bomb lane, Moon come back to defend. Spend a lot of buyback, ladies and gentlemen. Two buyback, three buyback down on this one. And still, this guy, Phantom Lancer, still holding on his buyback. Crazy one. 81 kills. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, after this, I'll, I'll surely be on the new from UA YouTube uh, and the new from UA fan who just <laughs> flame me in the YouTube comments <laughs> for sure. I'm getting used to it. Man, that's not thing I am happy more than get to pass this kind of game. Both strike in. The aiming for the central runner. He forced up himself that to distance himself from the uh, Phantom Lancer a bit. Mercury. Stays behind. Doesn't have any buyback left. That is the last life of Terra Blade. Below. It seems like Minetsky knows that Terra Blade doesn't want to take any risk. So they're just gonna taunt them. They're just gonna invite him to join in team fight. KP take down the top range Barracks, also the Mary Racks. Gonna send in the illusions. And also Standstorm not so far away. Just one kill on a Terra Blade, this game will be done. All the pains will be gone. Haste. Unity Kang. Land King. Maybe. Daedalus might get caught. Coming in real fast. Uh, Felix Chalba, very risky play. Uh, before he dropped the Sensei Eclipse, he gets both right first, but Sensei Eclipse first. Uh, here come, welcome to the hole. Welcome, everyone. A nice food, good drink. Oh, God, they all died. The bot back right away. That, that is the last buyback. Ooh, what how this guy survived though? He forced out himself out from somewhere. Let's take a look at the front line. It's still Velo. He used Stampede to go down into the Rochan pit. I feel like Team WG ran out their last buyback from the Outworld Devourer. Race game, you know, even me as a caster, I still feel the tense between the two teams. Only just small mistake can cost you the game, and it's just this kind of game. Whoever loses this series will will surely have a nightmare tonight, including me. Screaming black hole. What have we here? Team Smoke just gonna strike from the side way. I think I'm more to score in front. Game set of Minetsky. Feels like most of the time they know where uh, the beauty is. Now they are ready for the fight right here. That's the last fire left. That was he waiting for. It. Somebody goes in here and starts with the burrow strike below. Then Paul around can tank a little bit. This is gonna use everything on the uh, illusions and also the idolons to go to the melee racks. Well, strike comes out, uh, and here comes the sandstorm. Febby stays on the black line, uh, spamming his uh, astral spirit. Centaur runner already ran out the mana. They can't lose his barrax. Spamming spirit lance. Creating illusions straight to the bell racks. 
dropping quite low already. Here come the Mega Creeps. Uh, and the peaceful sound uh, of the Mega Creep finally comes out to turn on the Black King Bar. And uh, they're pushing out. Uh, and it's going to be down for KP before he drops his second Black Hole. High ground going. Uh, highlight I got away. Let's take a look at the fight in front. First right for the last time. He's still looking very healthy because of the Black King Bar. I mean that moon. Uh, and it is. Uh, Mercury Falls. Uh, Oh my goodness, they all finally end right here. The last battle strike has been landed and Team the Beauty fall in this Galactical War. Mineski, 71 minutes, sweeps the Beauty in the second of three series. What a play, Mineski. What a play for both teams. I salute you, the Beauty, for the, you know, so brave picking the hero like Slada and also the late game decision making of Mineski is. Oh god, this is the series is too good. Thank you. Oh.